Hello, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I've had the same question a couple of times, including twice today. So I figured I would address it in video form. And that question is, when should I use a framework and when should I use a game engine? It's a very good question, and first to really understand the answer to it, you should probably understand what the difference is between a game engine and a framework in the first place. Now, I actually already did a post on GameFromScratch.com breaking down what the difference is between a game engine, a framework, and a game library are. But the nutshell version is, a game library basically accomplishes a single task. Task. Uh, Box2D is a good example of a game library. It solves physics, and that's it. So it's a component of a game, but it only really solves a single aspect of it. So you might have a library that does networking or graphics or something like that. Now, a framework is basically a collection of libraries and possibly some tools. It's the framework you would use to build a game, but it's missing some of the key components of what you would actually use to make a game. And this is where a game engine comes in. Now, a game engine generally includes all of those um, basic bits and pieces you need to make a game. So it would have a physics engine, a graphics renderer, possibly some networking code, an audio engine, all of these different libraries, and pretty much everything you would contain in a framework, plus more. And generally more consists of at least two more things. First off, there's almost always a level editor of some form, 2D or 3D. There is some way of composing your world. And on top of that, there is something called a scene graph. This is the data structure in which your game's data is stored in. So for example, in Game Maker, it's uh, room-based. In um, Godot, it is node-based or scene-based. So basically, it, it's a way of storing or saving level data. And that becomes the building block of your game. Well, that's a key area where a game engine and a game framework vary. Um, and that's why you would often choose one or the other. Now, to break down, let's give you a couple examples. First off, of game engines, you have the common ones like Unreal Engine, uh, Godot Engine, uh, Unity Game Engine, S2, uh, Copper Cube, you name it. There's a whole bunch of them. And then you also get into 2D, things like uh, Duality, Game Maker, Construct 3, etc. Those are all game engines. And where they set apart from game frameworks, again, is they all have a level editing tool of some form. Form, and they have a world data structure of some kind. Now, game frameworks could potentially have um, a level format, but it's not always mandatory. But what you'll generally not see is a level world editing type tool. Examples of game frameworks are things such as uh, Allegro, SFML, Monogame, um, uh, trying to think of more and more, Phaser, uh, etc. So basically at that level, those are all basically considered game frameworks. SFML, um, God, they're not coming to me, but there's a ton of them at both levels for game engines and game frameworks. Now the abstraction is, again, that final level of detail, that, that the existence of those tools for composing your world and that data for making that world. So why would you want to use one or the other? Well, a lot of it comes down to high leveledness. Now if you work with a game engine, it's doing more work for you. Those tools are there, and they're tools that you now don't have to write yourself. They basically, um, the game engine does more for you. And that is also why you choose not to use a game engine. Um, because if it's made decisions that you don't like, you're gonna either have to force their tools into working in a way to fit your workflow, or you're gonna have to recreate them, and then it's never a great fit. So um, these high level tools are excellent for you, these world creation tools, this world format, etc. if they fit the type of game you're creating. But if the tool that you're working with is say level based, but your entire game is procedural based. It's a poor fit. So that's probably the number one reason to choose one or the other. It's based on the, the level of um, implementation you want the tool to choose for you. So if you want to customize your level editor and your level data, etc., a lot of times you're better off, you know, building on existing technology, building on frameworks, but not using a full-blown game engine. Whereas if a game engine fits what your game ultimately is going to be, you're going to save a huge amount of time by using the game engine. Now, another area where this is important, especially for new developers. Um, so if you're just starting out, you're trying to choose between a game framework and a game engine. It really comes down to what you're trying to learn first. Now, another big difference is the higher level up the tool goes, generally the further away from coding you get. So if you're taking a very code-centric approach, if you're trying to learn programming via a game, you're often better to start with a game framework because you're down more in the mud. You know, those tools take away a lot of the programming you need to do, but as a result, 
default, you're farther away from dealing with code. So if you're more about learning to program, a lot of times working with a low-level framework such as Love or Monogame, etc., would be more like programming to you. Um, again, you're going to have to reinvent the wheel a whole lot more. A lot of those things have been solved in game ages that you're going to have to solve yourself, but it is a great learning exercise. Um, but if you're looking instead to actually create games, get games done, publish it out the door, you're probably better off learning a game engine, you know, pick up a Godot or a Unity and you're going to see results a lot faster because they have solved problems for you. Now what often makes sense down the road is for you to have tried a game engine and saw the way it worked and what you liked and didn't like and then implement your own solution on top of a game framework. That's a very common approach. Now one last thing I'm going to address before we leave here is you can actually take a game framework and bring in some third party tools and you pretty much have a game engine. So for example, if you took like the LibGDX Lib game framework um, and then you added in the tiled level editor a few other tools and then you built some kind of a scene graph on top well you essentially have a 2d game engine at that point you're just you know bringing the pieces together yourself so the the level of difference between a game engine in a framework isn't huge uh, but the way that you approach things definitely is so i hope i cleared things up a bit there if i haven't let me know in the comments down below and i will try to address any more questions you've got and again a lot of this is a semantical thing so you know you can look at it you could probably call a lot of game frameworks engines and a lot of game engines frameworks and not be that wrong in doing so um so i hope you found that useful if you did please of course click that like button and if you're into game development related stuff, hit that subscribe button. We've got all kinds of stuff here. All right, that's it for now. I will see you all later. Goodbye.